in a very creative no! mood, Cody oh, is a girl with chronic memory loss. After a week, she forgets everything. If this is an interesting approach and a creative way to properly address this illness. Number 18, Death Note, Sociopath, Delusion of Grandeur, Asperger's Syndrome. This anime is literally three kids with mental illness fighting against each other. On one side you have Light, which is more of an anti-hero, with clear signs of being a sociopath, with delusion of grandeur, if not god complex, and a self-centered lack of empathy. Versus El and Nier, who seems to be both afflicted with Asperger's Syndrome, an illness a little akin to autism, where people show difficulty in social environment and repetitive behavior, and focus interest, etc. Number 19, Hell of the Abyss, Chinophobia. Tell the Abyss is an anime based upon a game, and on the mental level, it definitely has a lot going on. But I want to talk about Guy's Gynophobia, or the fear Look of women. Up. Something that got triggered when he was a kid as a defense mechanism to an event which gave him PTSD. Despite Guy being a side character, he still manages to be likable. You make his condition something you care about. Number 20, Holic. Addiction, self-sabotage, pathological lying. In Holic, you'll find a lot of different cases, some having addictions, some who can't help but constantly lie, and even some people who can't accept their own success so they constantly sabotage themselves. Holic is a really dark enemy that you might be able to see from a different perspective. Number 21, Narutaru, oh, title comes. Narutaru is a very serious anime about a girl who befriends a strange creature. Eventually, she notices other kids befriended other creatures and they're not all playing nice. Some leading kids to straight up suicide. It's a super heavy piece about suicide that I think is quite underrated. If you like Triller, maybe you can enjoy this show. Number 22, Evangelion. That's Triller, that was Thriller. Issue, depression, anxiety, self-loading. Besides never getting the fucking robot, Shinji. Shinji is a kid with a shit ton of issues. First off, he has to deal with constant anxiety. He hates himself. Watching him. He's depressed and don't even oh. get me started on his father. Evangelion is messed up his on father. all fronts. So good luck trying to deal with it. Him Number 23 in the Tatami Galaxy, Depression. The whole point of the Tatami Galaxy anime. is regret. It's so much regret that it throws the main character huh? into I did this a depressive perfectly. state a mistake, that is incredibly well rendered with the surreal visuals that the anime go through. Number 24, oh, Tsuritama, flash. Anxiety. In Tsuritama, you that. have another main character who absolutely fails at making any kind of social interaction. This causes him a great deal of anxiety, which leads him to freeze whenever he gets involved with people. It's a very intricate aspect of this illness, and the producer plays it out quite well. Number 25, Code Geass. Sociopath, got complex, depression, madness, dementia. Once again, we have a solid cocktail of illnesses, most of which all pertain to Lelouch. His patriotism converts him into a sociopath with a god complex, when he gets a new ability that allows him to control people. Eventually, that drives him into madness and dementia, which, if anything, it makes for a really complex character. So that's good. all I had for you guys today, uh, but of yeah. course there's still I can't several do it either more, such hard. as Monster with a okay. sociopath point of view, or even more PTSD in Sound of the Sky, or the Stockholm Syndrome again in Samurai 7, uh, you got Split Personality in Danganronpa, and then you got Zero Explain, which is a whole thing on He's itself, like an and, and so forth. So truly, it's not the choice that are missing. So, so if you'd like to make a suggestion about one in particular anime. that affected you in a way or another, anime, make sure everything. to add the title in the comment section below. If anime, you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe maybe for more in the future. How the point know? of this video is not to take mental know. illness lightly. I just Quite the that opposite. That, that if you're exists. dealing with stress, depression, suicidal thoughts, or any kind of issues whatsoever, please reach out to someone about it. Don't let it eat you from within. I don't know you personally, but I do want you to be happy. So, yeah. are you? This was a hard because no bucket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are all the eggs dead? Most of them should be.
don't know why, but I was watching someone eat their ant of uh, adult cock cockroach. Yeah, adult the Latin, it was having babies while it was dying. Hmm. And the babies were hatching. <laughs>